Um, pro Jared cheated on his wife. All right, what's this here? And uh, are there follow-up comments about this too? Um, welcome. To okay. Um, uh, let's see. Wait, this guy hated on Super Seducer. Well, yeah, probably because he didn't think it was accurate. <laughs> That's why. Okay, where's the rest of these? What else is he saying? Yeah, he thought he could do a better job. Uh, the guy got married and cheated on his wife. Like, wow. Okay, click on the tweet. Okay, just a second. This guy Chris guy super serious on how to treat women and ha treat women and have healthy relationships. The irony is delicious. Hey. Recently learned that my husband pro Jared. Like, yo, you want to you want to see what a what a real healthy relationship looks like with your husband? Boom. Being blocked on Twitter. Like that that's really what it's all about, okay? Like that hey, hey, there it is. New content, not thread. Yeah, we'll see what happens, okay? There are some pictures that are bad. Yeah, I'll uh I I'll be careful, okay, guys. Don't worry. Uh, he sent dick, pic dick pics to minors. <laughs> Listen, man. Hey. Actually, I can I, I don't even want to make a joke about that because that's like actually kind of bad. Yeah, I, I don't even want to make a joke about that. Like, no, that that's like. Look, I mean, to me, like, I have a really bad sense of humor, okay? But like, that that that's not good. Like, okay, that that's that's actually not good. All right, uh, has been fucking this girl. Wow, wait, what the fuck? Damn, called out on Twitter. 28,000 likes? Oh my God, behind my back for months. I have no idea what announcement he just made because he blocked me. Well, let's see what the announcement is. My wife Heidi and I have filed for divorce. This may come as surprising and upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this so that both seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, I'm not, I'm not, no, no, I don't even care. Honest, I, yeah, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I, I was just like, just, just, just real quick. I don't wanna, see like, here's the problem is that like, I, I like to I make jokes about everything, but I don't know like when somebody's actually gonna be like upset about it, right? So like, if that was offensive, my bad, right? Like, I, I, I don't, Okay. All right. Just, you know what? Let's just, all right. All right. During the time you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions. I will add that this decision was reached after extensive individual therapy on my part and couples therapy together. With that said, this is all I plan on stating publicly regarding this matter. Heidi's privacy, mental well-being, and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority throughout all of this. It is my hope that we will both exit out of this marriage with style and grace. You're exiting a marriage, not an ice skating competition. What do you mean? Come on, dude. Um, I plan on continuing and doing uh, to do everything that I can on my part to make this happen. Thank you for your understanding, patience, kindness, and respect for our privacy. Okay. All right, so this is just... A uh, li little bit of a goofball part there, but uh, other than that, I mean, this is pretty much what I would expect to read. Like, I, I don't really know what else to say about this. Like, what is the rest of this? Um, I'm sorry that you're going through all this. I'm here for you if you need me. And this is the, oh, this is the girl. O okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, hey. Business as usual, apparently. Let's see, what is this here? Uh, other people have hit you with every sarcastic clackback imaginable, so I'll just say this. I had a great deal of respect for you as a creator and a person. Every ounce of it just vanished. Here's a little bit of a tip, guys, okay? I want to just go ahead and get this out of the way. You don't know, like, I mean... Like, having respect for, like, the people and, like, the creator and, like, a person. Like, being able to judge a person based off of their selective, um openness online is really silly like it, it's silly okay like I, I I don't know like to me I just I I don't know why people can't just like create content and not like create you know these like personality things about people and like you know have all these opinions about it etc 
right? I, I don't know. I, I've always found that that part of internet culture kind of weird, but I guess that happens with, with celebrity culture too. So it's not really a big surprise. What is this here? Broken marriage. That's why my final rating for this is a broken marriage out of 10. That's why my... Wow. Uh, wow. That's... Wow. And that's the guy. Okay. <laughs> Before typing. <laughs> okay, dude. Um... It's very niche. Uh, okay, this is like... Yeah, the style and grace thing was a little bit kind of weird to me. I, I don't know really what else this uh, this has to say, okay? You're a creep. It's a weird way to say I cheated on my wife. Well, I mean, like... Okay. So, who's this other person that, that, that cheated on him, right? I understand some shit is going on, down on the internet. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess there kind of is some shit that's going down on the internet. You're right. Uh, if you want to believe a hyperbolic statement from someone you don't know on the internet with no previous background information and use it to demonize strangers, so be it. This isn't anyone's business but theirs. Well, I mean, like, if it's nobody else's business, then why are you posting it on, like, a public forum? Right? I mean, I, I can see what you're saying. Like, it's partially true, but... It it's like if you want to make your life public, and then people are mad because you know, like, you did something publicly or whatever, like, I don't know, that seems kind of reasonable. You know, like, I, I mean, this is obviously, like, I, I don't know, like, if it's worth anything, you all know me. That's like a textbook qualification that indicates that someone's lying. Like, no, it's a, it's a textbook law. It, it is. Like, I, I, I mean, it, it, I never heard anyone only want the best happiness was around me. If you follow me for a long time, you're going to know that. You're going to get off Twitter for a while. That's probably a good idea. So, obviously, everyone in this, uh, in this, you know, in, involved in this, I, I feel bad for him, right? I mean, regardless of what happens, they're obviously being bombarded with a million people. And these situations right here, like with, with like with Jared here, okay? And we've already had, listen, this isn't the first Jared that's, that there have been negative types of information to come out against, right? I mean, there have been there have been other Jareds in the past that have had this same problem. Um, uh, you know, but here, here's, here's basically my opinion on this, is that we don't really know what happened. I mean, this girl, like, what is this? What, what is she saying? I have proof, explicit conversations and photographs, which have, have essentially lied to me on many occasions. He was promising me that he was committed to our relationship at the time. I'm promising her that he was breaking up with me. He only went so far as to blame me for being suspicious and making him feel like a bad person by questioning his loyalty. He gaslit me for months, insisting that he had the bare minimum interactions with her and didn't even like her. Uh, meanwhile, they're having sex. Jared uh, tried very, very hard to make me feel responsible for everything that's gone wrong in our relationship. So technically broke up with me in February, insisting that the only thing wrong with our marriage was me. Okay. Existing that he had tried to make things work. He was unable to confess his infidelity even when presented with proof. He squirmed with denial until the last minute, getting angry and defensive instead of apologetic. Uh, I believe that he compartmentalized his feelings, memories, suppressed the guilt. It's very convincing. I spent the last year in isolation, ostracized from Jared's friend group because he made it clear to me that I was not welcome around them whenever we were still together. Uh, he's tried to keep me separate to keep up his lies. Oh, well, holy shit. I'm honestly shocked that he posted this today because it's so blatantly selfish. This isn't a mutual statement in any way. I did tell him that I wouldn't sign an NDA regarding his behavior. Wow. At all you guys typing, who cares? There's 10,000 people that voted this up, okay? Like, there's a lot of people that care. Like, why do they care? Like, <laughs> stupid, right? But like, yeah, there's a lot of people that care, 
all right? I, I don't know really why this is so, you know, these things. Here's why, here's, I'm gonna tell you why, okay? Here's why people fucking care is because there are very, very few instances in the world where you can look at a situation and you can guarantee take the high ground on it, okay? Whenever you obviously have cheating with your wife on somebody else, whenever there's all this other bullshit going on, you obviously have the high ground. And I'm not talking Empire State Building, I'm not talking Mount Everest, I'm talking the fucking moon with Lance Armstrong and Buzz Lightyear. They're sitting up there on the fucking moon taking the high ground and shitting on this guy because this is the one fucking opportunity that they have to do it. Okay, that's all there is. And th this is, th this happens every fucking time. This is why people watch Jerry Springer. Is they're like, oh man, you go on there and you fuck your sister. Well, good for me, I only fuck my cousin. You know, like that doesn't matter. I'm not saying Jaron's a good guy, right? But what I'm saying, that's why it's so popular is because this gives every single fucking person, some guy that's obviously an incel or whatever. He's like, well, I didn't fuck my wife because I don't have a wife, right? And then that's one little way that he can feel better than this guy. Right, and, and that's all the way uh, that this is it, 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 it. This is it. Okay, this is it. Am I wrong? Explain Lance Armstrong. He's went the moon. Like, what do you mean the moon? Like I just said, the moon. Uh, actually, true. Watch the video for context. Like, what fucking video? Like, how many videos I have to watch about this? Like, I mean, it's either true or it's not. Right? I mean, if she's making this shit up, then yeah, obviously that's bad. And like, there, there. I, I also want to say. There's no proof of this, right? I mean, she has not posted proof of this. Now, other people... Now, I... I, I was sent a picture of Jared that I wish I was not sent. Um, now, I, I, I don't consider that evidence, but I, I wish I wasn't sent that picture. Listen, I mean, like, the guy... I mean, here's the thing. He's like dressed up as like some other character. He's like almost naked. He's like dressed up like a, a you know a Sailor Moon character or whatever. If he wants to do that, that's fine, right? I mean, like I honestly, at the end of the day, I don't care if somebody dresses up like Sailor Moon, right? I mean, it, it, who cares? It doesn't really matter. Is it fake? I don't know if it's fake. Yeah, it's a lot worse. It, it's worse. Uh, that, that's the I, look, dude. That's the best one that I want to see. Okay, not safe for work. Okay, yeah, we're not really gonna look at those pictures at all. And, uh, yeah, there's some of them right there. What is this here? Uh, the fucking prophet. Like, what is this here? From 2013. Called it precisely right in advance down to the date. Wait, what? May 8th. May... Well, it's May 9th, but, you know. It's close enough. Wow. Um, wait, what is that? Uh, I'm confused here. Did I look at something bad? Like, yeah, I, I just looked. There's nothing bad on the screen. Small F. Chad is stupid. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. No, I, I thought I thought there was like, honestly, whenever I saw the picture, whenever I saw this picture right here, I genuinely thought that like there was a dick in the background or something that I didn't see. But luckily, that's not the case. We're we're fine. She made the tweet yesterday though. Oh, okay. There we go. It's fine. Let's see. Let me look at the rest of this and see if there's anything else that's worth looking at. What are we worth complaining about? Oh, well, we're still doing this. Watch the evolution of Twitch music. Listen, relax, okay? His ex-wife throwing shade at his lover. What? Honestly, you look very ashamed and insecure in all the nudes you sent- Wow. Wow. That's not, uh, wow. That's all I have to say is just wow. Holy shit. Um. Everybody loves a dumpster fire. This is great. The audacity. I'm here for you if you need me. Oh my god. Um. First content of someone who's, uh, content I used to watch ended up in a situation like this, like, 
blocking your wife on social media because you're too afraid to confront her. He here's, all right. So here's my opinion on, on the whole thing, right? Cheating is, uh, cheating no matter what is wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least with the doc thing, he was the one that confessed. I, I feel like the way that the way that Doc did it was the best way that you ever possibly could do it, right? If you're if you're gonna make it public at all, I think that was it was the best way you could do it, right? Uh, admitting fault and like if, if like that if Jared just came out and said, listen, man, I I totally fucked up. Like uh, we're gonna get a divorce. I fucked up. Uh, you know, like there are a lot of more things behind the scenes, but this decision was bad by me, and I I did the wrong thing. Like then I think it'd be completely fine. And if it's more complicated than that, uh, I think that you should say how it's more complicated. But, you know, if you're gonna go out and like say that it's like all, all this other stuff and like try to be politically correct and everything, people are gonna just see it's fake and they're going to assume that you're lying. Right? I mean, that that's just, hey, that, that's the way it goes, man. Uh, can you turn the music to, yeah, I'll turn the music down a little bit, okay? Uh, just a second. There you go. That should be better. Hmm. Much new it trailer if you got time. Look, man, uh, I, I don't want to take a look at it. Wait, oh, you guys liked it? All right, I, I thought it would, was better louder too. Okay, yeah. Videos gold that has censored dick pics. Well, I don't know if I want to watch a whole video about this situation, right? I mean, like, it's only been out for a day. Click for a surprise. Surprise, I clicked and my channel's banned because it's probably something that's really bad. Okay, what is this here? Go ahead and put this, he sucks to dress on a beer clown. Listen. So yeah, that's basically what my opinion is, right? Everybody always wants, like these situations are really appealing to people because it makes everybody feel better about themselves, right? And this is in no way a defense of him, right? But that's why these situations are so popular is because everybody can look at it from a distance and be like, wow, huh, that really sucks. And that's it, go to next before you show something bad. No, I'm not gonna look at it at all. Like why, why would I even do that to begin with? Don't scroll, bro. Like, trust me. Like, I can see the bottom of my my browser before you guys can. So if I see something bad at the bottom of it, I just scroll back up, or I don't scroll down to it. Okay, watch the train clip. Okay, guys. Um, I I, I don't want to like review everything and all that on, on like live stream fail, but uh, I, I'll look at like I wanted to look at Esfon's return thing. Okay, that's basically the only other thing that I really wanted to look at. And uh, then I'll take a look at that other video, okay? Check his social blade live. Okay, you know what? Before we get off the subject, we'll look at the social blade, all right? One more fucking time. W what's his account called? Pro Jared, uh, Pro Jared Wife Twitter Divorce Reddit. <laughs> Christ, uh, social blade uh, live feed. Okay, uh, let's see, is this him? Yeah, this is him. So how do you even do it? Um, live subscriber count. I was honestly thinking of a joke for whenever somebody subbed, but actually it's just, it just keeps going down. Like, so I can't even tell the joke. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, I, I was going to, yeah, I was going to make a joke about that, but no, it, it's not even happening. Um, was I making videos on that channel anyway? I, I, I don't know. Like, let me see. I've, I, I don't even know who this guy is, honestly. Uh, let's see. Social Blade profile. So we're at 82.9. Okay. Uh, where's this, where's this channel here? I'm playing Mystic Quest. I'm Is that what they call it now? Oh yeah, he, he yeah he hasn't even really been putting anything out for a long time. Uh yeah, this isn't really anything. Uh, why is the Forza CD emote not enabled? I just feel like I mean if they were trying to get rid of the CD emotes to begin with, right? It, it's obviously like Twitch's 
Twitch doesn't want to have that on the platform and I don't want to have a, you know, something that's like just completely on there. I mean, like, I, I don't know, like making a meme out of somebody like, you know, cheating on their wife, it's like kind of, it's like I did it too. And I, you know, I had like the CD emote. It was like, it doesn't make it right. And so I, I don't know, I just, just don't really think that the channel needs it, honestly. Okay, like, you did it too? Yeah, I, I did it. Yeah, I mean, but uh, I think the CDMO, like basically here, here the, the main reason is because Twitch obviously doesn't want on the platform. If I'm adding it on the my stream through another platform, I think that's going to make them, you know, like it's going it, to, it will complicate the relationship. And so I, I, I try to not do anything that is strictly against TOS, right? Or to do anything else like that. Wait, no, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. No, I mean like using the emote. <laughs> using the emote. I've never cheated ever. Like relax. Like I've been... I've always been a good boy, all right? Like, I'm a, like, behind all of, like, the, the bad stuff and everything, I, I'm actually a very loyal and good person in a lot of ways, okay? Look, I, yeah, I get the caps out of the fucking chat, all right? That's a fucking, it's a fact, all right? Where are we at now? 82.7. 982.7, that's, hey. What's the, uh, what is this over here, okay? Um, subscriber, wow, 50,000 lost? Oh my god. Holy shit. So he used to have a million subs. He's gonna have to mail that plaque back to YouTube. Yeah, I mean, obviously he was getting a lot of subs and like views and everything back in the day, but uh, it seems like that was a long time ago. That's a lot of hamburgers. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of hamburgers. It's very true. <laughs> Uh, it's a really weird way to categorize people, but I guess if they're in NA, and I'm sure I think this guy probably is from the NA, uh, it actually makes sense. So yeah, I mean, I, it's obviously a really shitty situation for this guy, and um, hopefully they'll be able to uh, figure it out. I don't know really what else to say. I used to ha watch this guy, what the fuck? Like, why are people acting like, I mean, cheating happens all the time. Like, it actually happens all the time. People acting like this is some kind of a fucking, like, wow, we can't believe that he would do this. People do it all the fucking time, okay? And this comes from somebody, I've never done that. Never. All right, normalizing cheating. It's not, you're not normalizing cheating. It's something that happens, right? It doesn't make that it's good. It just means that whenever you act like, oh my God, wow, this is so crazy that this is happening. It's really not because it happens constantly. Like it just, with these people, it, it's just because it's very public, okay? It's the end of the world? Yeah, dude. I, I know everybody, listen. I, I know maybe everyone in your church club doesn't cheat because that would be cheating on Jesus and you never do that because you're gonna go to hell. But, you know, I, I don't know, like everybody that I've known and all that, like it, it, most people that I know don't do it, obviously. But there's enough for me to be like, to not be shocked and appalled whenever this happened. It's like, okay, it happened again. You know, it, I don't know. It's just like, it, it's bad, but it's not like I'm going to act like this is some kind of like a awful thing. Like, wow. It's like, sacri like, like sacrificing babies is a lot less common than cheating, you know? And if something like that happened, I'd be like, wow, what the fuck? Right? Because it doesn't happen all the time. But this happens all the time. So yeah, I mean, I'm not like completely shocked and appalled or anything because it's regular. It's very, very regular. Abortion's more common. Yeah, they abort babies all the time. Look, they're okay, okay, dude. Okay, dude, let's not get into abortion. Uh, murder also always happens. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just, again, I'm, I'm just, I'm not really, I, I'm not surprised whenever this shit happens because people are people. Like at the, at the end of the day, at the core of, of like your humanity, you're a fucking animal. And animals do what animals do. And occasionally those instincts take over and you do wrong things. You do bad shit. It happens all the time. Cheat on your girl, not on your workout. Okay, tank it in. You need to put that on a shirt. I bet a lot of people would buy that. Uh, if you want to deny shit though, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we'll see what happens. Obviously, this is something that people are really going to um, do. Blocked his wife on Twitter. Hey, you know? Hey. That's special. All right, I'll look at.